Welcome back to SEO Core Fundamentals, where you're learning how to master search engine optimization. In this video, we're going to cover the off page ranking factors. Okay, so what are they? And it's all about trust. Okay, that's what Google wants to know. They want to know. And, and back in the day, I say back in the day, the black hatting was to kind of uh, just send tons and tons of links to kind of game this, but not anymore. Okay, so. EAT basically stands for expertise, authority, and trust. And that's kind of building good backlinks, earning mentions, um, doing fact checking, hiring experts, etc. This is all about trust. Okay, so if we go back, EAT is based on that trust factors. And then we have backlinks, social signals, local trust, and brand mentions. Okay, so let's cover those again. EAT is based on expertise, authority, and trust. And let's talk about backlinks, okay? So backlinks is all about getting that trust. And here's some ways that we can do it using a really cool tool by SEO Power Suites that we use. That kind of we can do guest posting. Guest posting is a great way to get links. Doing reviews for people. Doing roundups. Doing creative and useful graphics is a great way to get links, creating the best content, and basically looking for any gaps that your competitors aren't getting links for that you could be getting links for is what you're looking for. So it's all about trust and we're gonna dive into using this tool a little bit more in this video. Okay, here we are in SEO Spyglass and we are looking at the summary screen of one of our clients here that we're working on. And what we're doing here is not to kind of double check and see what's going on, although we can use this tool to do that right now to see how we're doing and see how aggressively that we're building backlinks here. But we ne definitely want to use this tool right now to start building more backlinks. And the best way to do that is to start with the backlink gap. So you come in here to domain comparison and click on link intersection. And from there, click on this and start adding as many domains as you can. I go ahead and fill it up all the way up so that I have all of my competitors there. And that'll show me kind of the lowest hanging fruit as far as what I need to go after right now and mark to see. Now, while I'm here, I want to just see, um, probably there's no intersecting domains, but I want to see the perspective domains, okay? And that's the ones that I'm not a part of. And then I want to come in and I have right here, I usually use this as a filter is only show me the ones that have an in link rank of more than 20, meaning I don't want to be a part of, of a junkie or whatever. So I want to start there. So that's kind of a filter. And then I'm going to grab these and add these to my outreach later. And we'll show you that in another tool called Link Assistant where we would capture these and add these to those so that we can then go and click submit so that we can see that. So that's the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a gap and we're going to see is there any gaps here and we see a lot that we're not a part of that we want to go ahead and look into and capture. Okay, now that we have all of our competitors, the next thing we do is put our competitors in so that we can kind of spy. This is after all SEO Spyglass. So we want to spy on our competitors. So the first one that I'm going to show you is an example is a competitor named Magnet. And so we're going to pop them in and we see they have a lot of backlinks that they've been building over time. And we want to click in and we want to see is what's their biggest, what's the best or the most backlinks that they're getting to content that we either have or we could create. So it looks like, and just right off the top, 273 backlinks are going to something called Kitchen Design and Kitchen Planner Tool. And we have a Kitchen Planner Tool. So we want to find out who these people are and could they be pointing to us instead. So um, since this says Kitchen-Design, I will use that information over here when I look up here and, I, and make sure over here you're putting do follow links if we do all, you'll see everything here. So I always filter do follow links because those are the ones that I want to see. And then over here is kind of where we're putting in that kitchen hyphen design. So that's showing anything that has kitchen hyphen design. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to go one by one. Now this also I could filter out um, again if I want to filter and make sure that I'm not doing thing, anything in link. I want to see everything more than 20. So we're doing a do follow here and we're showing anything that's more than 20. 
and we're basically checking and seeing um, anybody that's pointing to kitchen design. And so this is how we're honing in and we're going to basically to find and click on each one of these as you're doing this for yourself and click on each one and see is it an opportunity that you could reach out for a backlink and we'll show you how to put this in another tool called link assistant that will uh, see if there's emails found or anything that we can do to link to it so that's one now let's go ahead and look at another one so what we did basically is we clicked and we looked and saw that they had this planner tool then we went into backlinks and from backlinks we honed that in a little bit further to see any opportunities that we could potentially see and collect um, let's throw in another one just to see um, so the next kind of opportunity that we want to also do is we want to um, just look and see is there any content that that we don't have that we could create as well so if we're coming in here and looking um, this was one that that looked like it had 52 links to high gloss kitchens now we don't have a page called high gloss kitchens but i also wanted to double check and see um, and I put it here and I added it as a keyword just to get some stats on it. And here's High Gloss Kitchens with, with a lot of searches. So I should, be, I should be trying to rank for this. There's a couple of other competitors I see that's ranking for this. Why not? So I'm putting this on my list to create content for. And now that we know that, we can kind of come in here and look and see is there any backlinks looking for High Gloss and I see all of this and then we can hone in show me only the do follows and then and a lot of these look like they're less than um, 20 but we could still kind of hone in and see is any of these um, partners or people that we could click into our high gloss so we're going to create a high gloss kitchens page now the next thing that we would want to do is potentially look for um, 404s like so if you find anyone that's got say a lot of a lot of backlinks very potentially um, they could have some 404 so as you see this particular competitor has 74 75 almost 75,000 backlinks and what we're doing over here is we're filtering out link page status code equals 404 and so you'll want to do that that way we can see now all of these so these are basically a bunch of links that's linking to 404s okay these are broken pages so there's a ton of broken pages so we could honestly go through we could filter and look at these these are like high um high ranking pages here that's going to broken pages 404s and so we'll want to use this data and you could go into again all of your competitors and filter out and see is there any 404s and mark any of the ones that you see here once you click on all of them review all of them that looks juicy that looks like oh man i can easily swap in here instead of them and provide a link so this is another place that you want to see any of the 404s and filter out the 404s so this is a couple of places and a couple of ways to go get backlinks for content you either have or don't have that you want to also see any of the gaps and also we're going to show you how to get guest posting and different things in the next video using a really cool tool called link assistant so see me in the next video okay Remember from the previous video, we're right here in SEO Spyglass and any of these opportunities that we find from intersection ones to any of the competitor backlinks, we want to click these and we want to save these so that we can use these in this tool now that we're calling Link Assistant. So right here that we're in Link Assistant, we're going to uh, leverage those in prospects. So we're going to be building this prospect list and so any opportunities you want to click add and then paste those here and then go through that way that you can then track them you can verify them you can see you can outreach to them you can email them and so the first thing that we're going to do from this tool so any opportunities that you found in SEO Spyglass you want to copy and paste in here and make sure that you're tracking it in here and you can even go through quality and you can filter out and you can see and track any of the backlinks that's coming to you and that kind of thing so it's a great tool to track any of the backlinks and to outreach and to do that kind of stuff so the very first thing that we're going to do when you pop in your domain it'll go ahead and look and see if there's anything um, and what we want to do we have a, a ton of tools here um, and so if you want to look for guest posting opportunities, we could click on that 
And this is kind of using keywords. Uh, we can get keyword suggestions. So if I click clear all, um, and if I was wanting to type on, let's just say interior designs, um, I can click that and then I can do guest posting. That's as a tag. So it's going to tag any of this and it's going to go through and it's going to look for and see any opportunities with that. So it's going to go through this right here and it's going to kind of do a filter and a search for me and look and see if it can find any opportunities in this particular category. So from here, we take a look at the data and we see, and we go through one by one. Now, what I like to do is come in here and filter just like we do the to zero to 20. I like to say 20 to a hundred here. And so we can do that and then apply and that'll go through and filter and only show the ones that we're looking for. Um, another great place that we can do is click on this table view. So we can filter here and we can show, we can say, sometimes I like to do uh, domain traffic more than a thousand, um, especially if I'm looking for a, a, a guest posting opportunity. So I'm going to filter that also. And then we can also look over on table view. This is another cool uh, ability here. And from here we can, we can look and see, and we can sort on the pages here, uh, and see Facebook. So also if we're doing a guest post, we want to see if something has the Facebook that it needs. Um, so we're seeing Facebook there, uh, which is cool. And we can filter even the Facebook, uh, post. So we're seeing kind of, let's see for, let's just do, um, five, and above, let's see if we'll do five and above. So it's basically showing me people who have Facebook. So any of these people. So basically what we can do is we would select them and then add the prospects to our prospects list, meaning, um, and so if we click back in feed view, what we want to do is we want to go through these one by one. And this says guest blogger. And we want to see, we can kind of see right here, we have the contact information or the contact email. And we want to go through and see is this an opportunity that we can basically be a guest blogger for? So we, if it, if it appears to be true, like, yes, then we click move to prospects. And then it's just going to go through one at a time. And then we go to the next. And the cool thing is, is that it will find emails and things like that, that you need. So you're looking for each one of these to see, is this a great place that you can post your guest article on that you can have a guest post? article ready to go. So our, remember our filter, our table view, and then when you add them to prospects, they show up over here on prospects. Okay. Under guest posting. So if I come back over here, this is where you click to start that new search. And this is what we did on guest posting. If you want to look for reviews, top ranking pages, if you want to see if you can link on those similar websites, this backlink app is kind of cool and expert mode. I really love, and that's just a tool where you can come in and do a Google search, a backlink analysis, or even an advanced niche research. Um, so if we click this advanced backlink analysis, then we can kind of come in and say, show me all of the backlinks for all of the competitors, only the competitors backlinks. And then if we click go, and we are using kind of our filters here and then click next, this is going to show us an advanced backlink set of people that we may want to go after. These are the people that have backlinks, um, to our competitors. So if we're clicking here, we're seeing that it's running through that and we're going to give it a second and we're going to look at the backlinks that are going to our competitors, but not to us. And we want to see if there's anything that we can reach out and grab. Okay. And it looks like it, it has found some prospects. And so we're going to go over here and we're going to look and see in the table view. Um, and we're going to see any of the prospects that has come up. And so from here, we're going to then come in and click and just double check and see any of the potential opportunities that we're seeing here that we would then add and make sure that we are a part of it. Um, this is masterclass interior design basics. This is could potentially be one that we could create something for. So we would just move it to prospects and it will go on and on and on. You can do different searches, different criteria, um, and, and hone in on see which of the pages that you want to do and what makes it easy is you can just click and go make notes on it and go. And then once you have them here, you'll have them in this prospects list. And from this prospects list, you can actually sort them 
also and filter them. Add as many of the filters that you want that you see. You can filter them here. You can filter them and, um, and reach out to them, email them, um, and track them. This backlinks is a, is a cool tab to just track uh, the verifications and things like that on it. And then the prospecting here. So any of the ones uh, sorted by these two, um, they have emails. I can do email and you see that it's emailing them both. If this were both an outreach, I could reach out to them. Now you, to use this as an email tool, you need to make sure you have your SMTP and your POP and your information set up correctly. But from here, this is a great tool to do that outreach um, because you can also come in and even edit the email. So if you wanted to edit the email, it would, it would literally edit the email in here. Um, so you could do a mass send and track an email here. It has an a email tool that you can do your follow-up and email from here. So it's kind of a, a handy tool to use, especially if you're having a team member do this for you as well to do the outreach. So that is a great way to do that. But always remember if you're doing email outreach that you want to follow kind of the fundamental rules of email best practice make the use of subject lines, personalize the emails. Again, these are real people that you're reaching out to and requesting either a guest post or requesting a backlink or offering a suggestion of a better piece of content. You wanna make sure to have that you're summarized and have a clear call to action and use bullet points for easy skimming and communicate the value of what you're offering to their reader, to them and the benefit and then make sure to always follow up. So. Remember to use a link assistant, uh, search for the, the prospects that you may have, then add them here and then reach out. And this is a very cool tool. Hope you use it and grab some great backlinks. It's also about getting social signals. Now these are somewhat the easier things that you can do, but you want to get social shares. So when you create that content, you also want to share it to Facebook, share it to Twitter, share it to anything social and encourage other people to do the same. Um, they, they, they basically may not give total signals. They may not be total rank set of factors, but they definitely let Google know that there's some signals here. Okay. So we want to share from all the major platforms. We want to like it. We want to follow it. We want to tweet it. We want to share it. We want to do that with any of the content with these social signals. Local trust, if you're a local business, this is super, super important as well from that authority and trust perspective. What do we mean by that? NAP, that's the big acronym you're gonna hear with this, which stands for name, address, phone number. It needs to be consistent and it needs to be located in prominent places all over the web. Google My Business Setup needs to be done. If you don't have that done, that needs to be done as well. And as an SEO, that's a service that we can also provide for businesses, local directories, you want to be found in the directories associated with your company. Google sees those connections. Professional directories, Better Business Bureau and Chamber of Commerce builds that local trust that Google's looking for. Brand mentions, this is when people are typing in your name, company name, whatever it is, or that it's mentioned on other sites, but there's not a link, okay? So you can do a search on your particular brand and see if you're mentioned anywhere else and see if there's any links not happening there and get a link to your site. So that's something that you can do and we're doing it constantly with some of the companies that we're working with is finding ourselves in different places but no link. So that's a great way to get links is through brand mentions. And, and again, share as much as possible. I'm saying this over and over again, share on social media, share in your professional network ask for your friends to share, share and share again. Again, you wanna make sure that when you create content that everybody knows about it and that's what's gonna help you rank from that perspective and help get links. When people see good content, they're gonna to wanna to link to it. So next up, if you want an easy guide to follow my SEO PowerSuite strategy to rank at the top, join me on the next video.